Welcome everyone! We are the Grin Brothers! We introduce you on lag! Apparently. So the tea I've got with me today is actually one I've had a while back. Chamomile, vanilla and manuka honey. But I forgot to actually write down my thoughts. So I'm going to drink it here, comment on it and then see what I think about it. Oh, well, hopefully write it down. Why is there a gastrodon here? Sweet. Soothing. Very sort of like smooth sort of tea. Like it's got flavour but it's not nothing bursts out really. It all kind of all gently goes together. So I guess smooth is the best way to term it. it looks kinda of constant. There's no way we're laying you anywhere near Spike Spike. Oh wait no, it's the woman talking. There's no way we're laying you anywhere near That means we can't let you go on to Route 9! It's Team Earth's duty to cheer on these lovely dreadnoughts. And we also get to stop the awful man out of it. <coughs> what up? Well, that's okay. I'll just uh, top on this dreadnought. No! He found a solution! <laughs> uh, yes, I understand, but I'm not a part of the Jin Challenge. Can you please leave me alone? All I'm saying is I can make it safer by converting Sorry, this non-water type into a bicycle. <laughs> right. again. We meet again, young Batman. <laughs> Remember me? I gave you... This is the worst pain impression I've ever done. I gave you that bike! So do, do you, you remember? You now owe me another favor! Do you think you could do me another favor? And execute these ruffians! It's our duty to... Wait, that's... It's our duty to protect <laughs> Dreadnor and not to die! <laughs> and that means you're gonna need to give him the Jillian and please don't kill us! It's too late. Bane has requested your death. <laughs> and I am not going to argue with Bane. <laughs> Either just grabs and breaks that back. Double battles! Double battles exist! What are we going to double battle with? The Dreadnought? Yeah, that would be awesome. How double battling with a wild Pokemon. Why are we suddenly on like weird isolated... Why are there like, beach chairs? This is an icy beach, remember? Yeah, but no one goes to the beach when it's like this. Oh, I didn't put a berry on. Oh, gosh. Whatever Dude. am I gonna do? Just kill it. <laughs> Just sit on it. Oh. oh! Forget that it learns counter. Well, don't worry, you take knock it out in the next hit. Uh, and die to hail. Yeah, true. So. Send out someone who doesn't take hail damage. Yeah, that might be a good idea. Yeah, I forget that. Um. Galal the Noon learns counter and stuff because mm. I don't want to use it. Yeah, ever. it's like the, they had an option uh, for a I good badger Pokemon and then they did this. Yeah, they had <clears> the <throat> option to make an original badger Pokemon and they basically did because Obstacoon has nothing to do with Lanoon. The original bar uh, badger Pokemon was furry bait. Yeah. I um hate Obstacoon. I'm just going to say that. I know a lot of people really like Obstacoon. Really? But, um, <coughs> that's a fighting type. Yeah. I'm super effective. Oh, yeah, we are. And faster. That's weird. Oh, it lived. Does hail increase our speed naturally? No. And instead of a fighting move, it uses crunch. It probably doesn't have a fight move. Bit weird. Can you use an electric move to heal me? Uh, let's see, um, let's see, something to talk about, well, this is battles almost over, so it's not really worth actually bringing up anything. Well, there's going to be another fight, I mean, yeah. afterwards. Mmm, Gammon. Oh. I would say something similar about beef, but to be honest, I don't really like beef that much. It is okay. <laughs> it is satisfactory. Beef. it is adequate. She's gonna ride the treadmill. No. I'm yeah. Not. How? They knew exactly what I was gonna want him to do. Oh no! Too far. Dread. We, we can get on the treadmill, right? Wait. Oh, that's not line reading. Yes. Bye bye. Or it just leaves. Oh, they can't. They couldn't animate him riding on a treadmill. You know that. Seems you've come to my aid yet again, Batman. <laughs> How's the cycling life been treating you? I was born in it, <laughs> molded in it. 
You've merely adopted it. Wouldn't it be great if you could ride your bike in the water as well? You mean on the water? In the water. It produces electricity constantly, which shouldn't have any negative side effects. That's why I'm going to <coughs> add floaties to your bike. <coughs> this is how science works. <laughs> You just handed nothing over. We didn't even get that second battle! Come on! Alright, with the Rotom Bike Water Mode, you'll cruise across the water like a Pokemon with Swift Swim. By the by, when you're on land, we'll call it Land Mode. That's we'll call it Non Water Mode! That's completely unnecessary. Oh yeah, what about now, <clears throat> sucker? I'm on water <clears throat> in Land Mode. Yeah. <gasps> oh god, whales. Why is it just... Oh no, it didn't work that time! You just... <laughs> it's just stood there, so ominous. So. <laughs> oh yeah, I should probably uh, not um, have to So see, something to mention. Uh, the other day, this the originally the post originated from Tumblr, but I found it via, out via uh, Know Your Meme. They look um, ridiculous swimming. And, um... Oh yeah, we can evolve Lily. We can. And, um... But it was basically the origins of kawaii culture. Okay. This is where you can catch Pinchiro. Really? 2%. I thought it was, I thought it was further along. No, right. it's like a 2% random grass encounter. Also, Delsum is terrifying. You were certainly seeing it on land. Also, this is where you normally catch uh, the octopus. Yeah, octopus. Yeah. What level well, are we meant to be for the next battle? 46. Okay. I mean, to be fair, we can always fight uh, the way up to the trainers, and then if we're not the right level, we just go back and fight some of these things, because it's not like we're immediately forced to go. F Actually, no, we are. You are, yeah. We'll be fine. Yeah. He doesn't... And to be fair, he's, he's not exactly, exactly that he's hard to fight. He's only got, like, four Pokemon. Um, but the thing is, Kawaii culture originated in, like, 1980s, when um, Japanese uh, schoolgirls started writing their handwriting with, in, uh, with lots of curves and such. Okay. Which teachers said made it illegible. Okay. It spawned from there where basically like they um, do a lot yeah, of sort of like well. things to make themselves cuter sort of thing. Yeah. In both fashion and sort of styling. And the parents would say, uh, but apparently it was um, criticised for them trying to act cute and younger. And the parents would say, the, uh, basically a common response was the parents saying, you'll never find a good husband like that. And the kids were replying back, good. <laughs> and... It, as someone said, it was basically the equivalent of punk. Kawaii. And it was basically seen as a good way for women to be independent and unattractive to males. Oh, okay. And I just looked for after reading it, it's like, well, that worked out, didn't it? Mm -hmm. <laughs> we'll be cute and kawaii so, we, uh, so no one will be attracted to us. Otakus and weaves, let us introduce ourselves. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be cute and act underage. No one's going to be weird like that. <laughs> I'm doing this just because... Sing! Dance! Do it! <laughs> if I dance, I shine! So it's just irradiating. I'm also literally just doing this because it's a double battle. Music game could not handle having an extra person on screen. Did you see that? Yeah. It's like, ah! Toxtricity and Maracactus. Well, this is kind of helpful, actually. And hey, it's the first time we get to see Nanka actually fight as a... Um... Eternia. Because she evolved in the, after the gym battle. Yeah. Oh, they're both the same power. Oh. Harry needs better moves. Yeah. I think mean, that's really the only thing holding ba Harry back, because his attack is ridiculous. Why his special would... attack is perfectly viable. Why would you do that? Matt po My Pokemon will also shine! It's dead. Oh. <laughs> Burnt to the ground. Didn't even get a chance to begin the dance. Oh, yeah. You think well, you know as they'd actually like, have some sort of like sound setup sort of thing where they're singing and dancing. Hat wants to learn superpower. Super power. 120 attack power, 100 defense lowers your attack and defense. defense, which is alleviated by bulk up if yeah. you really want, and also it just hits really hard. Yeah, and it's not like many of the opponents use reflecting light screen, is it? I don't think any of them do. You think Brick Brick would have a bit more than just reflecting light screen? Not like common enough, really. Well, it breaks viable. safeguard and aurora veil as well. Oh yeah, and also reflecting light screen aren't insanely powerful. So that mm. was a battle. Yep. You may actually end up taking on the gym. I was, I was you hit me once. <laughs> I was also kind of trying to delay to give you a chance to fight. No, the gym. there's no chance of that. It seems. 
I don't know. I Dancing could... is the best way to stay healthy. To be Your Mario Cactus is fainted. I know. Uh, dancing is... Oh, God, leave me alone. Yeah, kill him instead. Ah! <laughs> what a shame. He's dead. I like how they... See, this is one of the most English-looking places I've seen. I can't expect this. So I've just been hanging around here the whole time. Shouldn't you call the police or something? No one can challenge the dark type gym leader like this. We have a dark type gym leader? What well, the gate being sure Emma is supposed to get in? It's actually kind of funny that everyone's been cramming for a dark type gym leader, and now <clears> they <throat> actually have a dark type gym leader. Apparently, no one knows <clears> it because they shut it off. Hey, Ela! I can't look at these posters. Ah, this rundown. Oh, you a policeman just waiting to enter this rundown, shoddy area. Suspect that everyone is already a criminal there. I legit <laughs> forgot that there was a fight against Marnie. Don't know why I'm healing everyone up, because I'm probably going to be able to sweep with Nanko. Look, sorry kids, but Smite Buff's gone into tier 3. <laughs> <laughs> ah, Jennison, why? It's just the way they ominously float on land. How? Marnie, uh, Marnie have got that champion-like attitude because she's had to survive in an area where tentacle creatures literally roam outside her house. Yep. And also, you know, the wild Pokemon of level 41. Mm. Yeah, what a shock. That was a lot of failure just there. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, one of us has to succeed eventually. I guess I'll save for this challenging battle. Oh, yeah, you also have the Marnie fire. Yeah, yeah, I forgot about that. This is literally what I, I really, said. I like just five kind of forgot about ago. Marnie. I was like, oh, yeah, I have to fight against Marnie. Mm. I forgot about that. But yeah, I just I just loved reading up that Kawaii culture thing and I think, where did it go wrong? Yeah, I was born here, so I know another way in. This is literally just around the corner. Why if is... you want to participate in the Cell Games! <laughs> <laughs> you want to get in town, how about I show you the way? You're my rival though, so you have to beat me first! But wait, what about the other two people? I don't care! With pleasure. Because that isn't suspicious. You had a pretty good win streak, didn't do we? we? We got beaten by Milo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I also lost several times. <laughs> I respect you as my rival and all that, but I got too much at stake to go around losing now. The champion title, exactly. I want that money. <laughs> I'm glad she at least uses Dusk Balls. Oh, now a Lipard. I wonder if it's going to use Sucker Punch. <laughs> <laughs> Just go, ourselves. Gremlin. Power up, hold up! I'm going to beat you into the ground! God, that does not do my throat much. I was going to say, we're gonna be, yeah, Sucker Punch. We should have just car minded. No, it's not the end of the world. That's why I was thinking of using the, like, Shell Bell, because, mm. like... She's never gonna outspeed something. No. Let's hope it doesn't use poison jab. Oh, oh yeah, because yeah, it's yeah. It yeah, it uses poison, poison jab, jinxed it. Hey! I was half expecting the poison to kick in. And we're gonna do something we learn off bead. <laughs> no. Who? The orphan <coughs> you fight. You fight orphans! <laughs> Beat up orphans in the street. <laughs> Learn how to use psychic powers. It's crafty. Well, that's mildly inconvenient because I was going to switch to Jesse. Marnie, I think you'd have an easier time. Actually, I kind of like that Marnie's team is actually at least somewhat diverse. It's thematically thing, but it's not actually a monotype. Yes. And she keeps the other types as well. Mm. Even when she's the dark type gym leader, she still has Toxicroak. Because so she's a filthy cheater. <laughs> Ah, yeah, Rocky Helmet, get dunked on. I just um, looked at what uh, uh, Leon was doing and realized, <laughs> wait, you can use other types of Pokemon? The thought, hey, let's do that. We need, like, um... It'd be great if we could learn Mega Horn. Oh, wait, hold on. What? Yeah, you can hear this, uh, you can hear the Pokemon gym leader chanting, but it's just a little bit quieter. Yeah. Yeah. Because uh, there's only two people doing the chant. 
Hey! Harry doesn't need no swagger. Harry already got that swagger. <laughs> Not that I... Why is he so flat? I hate shiny uh, center scorch so much. I've never seen it, but... It adds blue onto the back instead of the brown. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, so but you can't actually see it when... The problem is when it... Uh, Again, I'm just worried that more Pekko is just sent out of a Pokemon. It should just walk into the battle. When it Dynamaxes, the blue doesn't exist. <clears throat> Here's a special move I've been saving just for this occasion! Spark. Th that's your special move? You have okay, all the wheels! That was a very special <clears throat> one. Yeah, get dunked on, kid. Oh, yeah, Harry did effective. something and didn't die. Hooray! <laughs> Only... It's actually convenient because I uploaded the Harry episode just yesterday. Yes. What's with that? My Pokemon didn't get a chance to really do their thing at all. Ugh! <clears throat> yeah, maybe if you, like, um, had more type, like, Toxicroak is great, but you don't actually cover your weaknesses. Yeah, not really. But it wouldn't be for my <laughs> thing! How do you do it? Your Pokemon are just weird hotspots! <coughs> I just throw Pokeballs at things. But That's I'm messed up, up you, <laughs> you cheating scumbag! <laughs> I'm definitely gonna get all eight gym badges. Just so I can have a rematch with you. Don't you forget it! I'll get my revenge! Anyway, I'll probably show you the way in, so follow me. I saw there was a spot free in your rival, so I'm fitting in, but I, I don't know you. <laughs> I'll show you the way in. Gee whiz, is it the giant hole in the city walls? I always wanted to try using a bird mine. They're, um. I mean, if like, you. I love their design, bird mine Avalog. If you send an Avalog out against a uh, physical attacker, it cannot do anything. Mm. Uh, they As can, per usual, it's an ice type, which is high in defense, low in speed. They can make really good use of gyro ball. I do love the way this area is set up, so that it looks like a uh, beam up. But I dislike that they the, didn't do more with that this concept. This rocking town has a punk vibe, and streets crammed with shops lined up cheek by jaw. Yep, that's English. Mm. Hey. Also, it, it, it's kind of disappointing. They should have had all the other you people there that also team punk design. Because okay. even in, even in um, Alola, the uh, Pokemon receptionist was still like the, you know, team skull, skull members. members. Yeah. Oh, you mate here, so I guess there's nothing to be doing about it. You better be ready to face peers. Oh, he has the voice of an angel, but we've never heard it. <laughs> well, to be fair, I've seen what angels look like, so I don't want to hear <laughs> what they sound like. Um, Do not be afraid, human. How? <laughs> <laughs> See, another thing I, I um, sort of uh, looked into the other day, well, I didn't look into it, it just kind of was a random video that popped up. It was a, a video popped up which was about sleeping positions. Okay. I was basically like six common, well, six common sleeping positions. I say six most common. Uh, one of, uh, Two of them are like really obscure mm. and don't happen often, but like... Uh, but like you were saying about you know how you know how sleep person how sleeping positions reflect your personality to a degree. Yeah. Sure, because nobody's going to be a challenge gym. I got to look into this. Carry on. Why don't you just show everyone else the alternative way? I just happen to have too many of these, so I'll give you one. Got it? You can hand yourself, right? Thanks for. I mean, just... that kind of takes. Away... How did I grab that from her? Did she just throw it on the mm. floor? Her arm stretches. <laughs> Oh no, Team Yell members, it's invisible Team Yell members appeared to pass it Welcome along. to Spitemuth, kid. Oh, you're ready for your gym mission? Oh, mate, if you're going to take on the gym mission, you better change into your uniform. Yeah, where like, do I get changed? Yeah, they've got so much more personality than the other gyms. No, where do I get changed? Did they just watch me? Don't worry, I'll watch. I don't have any personal interest. Uh-huh. <laughs> you're a Pokemon player, I don't believe that. <laughs> Wait, can you just, like... Fight a trainer, retire, come back, fight the trainer, retire, and just grind out no infinite EXP. Okay, well, that, oh, that looked like NF, a U, <laughs> and other letters. Uh, Gym challenger. Like... You want to get past me, but I don't want that. Basically, it's a battle. It's a shonen battle. Dun, dun, dun. Why do you have to do it so dramatically, though? Yeah, he does that dramatic sort of voice, then just pulls out Bubba Zella. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, this void is dangerous. It's like toxic fumes up in there. 
Um, we've been wanting to help in the shelves ourselves. We're dying in here. Oh, he used fury swipes instead of counter. And he missed. It, it's a giant fat squirrel! <laughs> How do you miss it? With like 30 speed or something. But, we yeah. have a very slow team. <laughs> but um, yeah, the video was about uh, sleeping positions and like... Um, the one I remember is the, the I think it's the second most common or third most common was like sleeping on your back. Yeah. With your legs slightly spread out and your arms at your side sort of thing. Yeah. And it's like, apparently it's the sleep position of people who will often get up quicker and you know, you've got stuff to do basically. And it's like, I noticed that is most often my sleeping position. Although I do usually adopt that sleeping position because of my cat. Yeah. Um, but it's like, that is the most common one. It was also just kind of weird, like, one of the most common sleep positions is your arms above your head? Yes. Like this, it's like, that does, like, I tried it, it's like, this does not feel comfortable. Who sleeps like this? I normally end up resting my- My elbows keep hitting the wardrobe if I try to so, do that. I normally end up resting my arms, my head on my arms. Mm. Like, my, I'll pretty much always have an arm like that, head laying on. Uh, I think the least common like one, I think the least common one, which apparently describes an eccentric personality, is your legs sort of kind of raised, your, el your knee raised up as you sleep. What, like curled up in a ball? No, no. Th like, that's actually one of the most common Oh, ones. you mean like sticking your leg you up? Got, no, you've got one leg straight and you've got one knee sort of sticking up. Oh, I've done that occasionally. Yeah, that's apparently describes I don't want to let you through. eccentric personality. That's why I was waiting all squeezed in this crank. But... Then I got high off crack, so I guess I kind Whatever, of... Whatever, you won, so I guess I'll step aside. Wait, she doesn't even I'm not even going to do anything! Alright. Well, so it's 21 minutes in. I, I saw. Is that the... Um... I think they should have made it like a horror game. <laughs> well... No, no, beat him up. You know, you, you have to gauntlet of battles and, the, and um, without them telling you... For people who are familiar with beam-ups, you just knock over a bin to get some chicken to feed your Pokemon. Yeah, but can you imagine how funny it would be if it was like Silent Hill, like the fog rolls in. <laughs> <laughs> um, anyway, bye. Cheerio! Like, comment, subscribe to see us fight peers, I guess, and listen to his majestic song. <laughs> oh, yeah, I've got tea. You do. That's my hair.